Welcome back to the channel everyone. We just received the community transmission for the upcoming Anakin Skywalker update, what releases tomorrow, the hero changes and many more. So let's just dive right into them. Another update can only mean another transmission. If you've been keeping up with all the news this month, then you will know that on February the 27th, Anakin Skywalker will make his entrance to Star Wars Battlefront. Anakin will be joined by the 501st Battalion, the Clone Trooper Legion that he himself lead into battle so many times. The 501st will also be joined by the Coruscant Guard, who will be making their appearance in the Chosen One update. There are big changes coming to the Clone Trooper Legion, with each trooper class now getting their own look, relevant to the Legion that they are a part of. This also sees the first time that officers will be able to equip Clone Trooper armor. Eventually, there's been a lot of discussion around stuns and their effect on the flow of the gameplay. With stuns now having a lower duration, and a short immunity once you have been stunned, we're looking forward to seeing how these changes improve. Anakin's power and skill were virtually unmatched, though his overconfidence and anger could get the better of him. Even still, when innocent people were in danger, he would never hesitate to put his life on the line to save them. When his friends needed his help, he would not abandon them. Moving on to the Clone Trooper appearances. Under the new system, troopers will be visually different from one another, but all the while retaining the overall theme of their specific legion. What this means is a heavy will have different mark markings to a specialist, an assault and officer, but you will still be able to tell which legion they belong to. This also means for the first time clone trooper officers will have armored appearances. Coruscant Guard. This division of elite troopers were designed to protect the capital of the Galactic Republic and are identified by the red markings across their armor. They could often be found patrolling the streets of Coruscant but also had the responsibility of protecting buildings of high importance. As the war proceeded, the Coruscant Guard would go on to find themselves serving the bo as bodyguards for members of the Galactic Senate and even for the Supreme Panzer himself. Moving on to the 501st Battalion, perhaps the most well re owned Clone Trooper Legion, the 501st Battalion, led by Anakin Skywalker and Captain CT7567, more commonly known as Rex, fought across many of the biggest and most important battles of the Clone Wars, thought they had the same hearts and the same blood as all their brothers. Their minds were sharpened by the diverse battlefronts they fought across. Now moving on to the emote wheel. Emotes have always been a fun addition to the game and we've all seen how much you enjoy Hello There. Fun aside, they can also be a useful mechanic in order to quickly communicate with your squad and nearby players. The installation of the new emote wheel with the ability to contain up to 8 emotes will allow you to better communicate with your team. Now, finally, everyone, stuns. <laughs> Let's move on to the stuns. This is what I've been looking forward to. One piece of feedback we've, we've been reading is in relation to the stuns that can be applied during combat. We agree that some of these stuns are too long and have made some adjustments accordingly. Starting with Emperor Palpatine, we will be lowering the stun duration of his lightning from 1.6 seconds to 1 second. Phasma's turret will have its stun duration lowered from 1 second to 0 0.8 seconds. And Lando's stun grenade have its effect reduction from 1.4 seconds to 1 second. Finally, <laughs> we've been waiting for this. In addition to this, we will be implementing a stun immunity to all hero abilities for 3.5 seconds, specifically when being stunned by either Phasma, Aiden Chewbacca, Emperor Palpatine, or Lando, what this means is that should you be stunned by one of the listed heroes above, you will not be able to be stunned again for 3.5 seconds. Now that sounds really good. That sounds really good. Now moving on to the hero and classes changes. Implemented changes 
to stun lock for different heroes. Reduce Emperor Palpatine's lightning stun duration from 1.6 to 1. Reduce Captain Phasma's turret stun from 1 to 0 0.8. Reduce Lando Calrissian's stun from 1.4 to 1. Added stun immunity lasting 3.5 seconds to all heroes after having been stunned once by Captain Phasma, Aiden, Emperor Palpatine, Chewbacca, or Lando. Inspired by Star Wars Battlefront 2 Attack of the Clones, if Yoda uses Unleash right after absorbing while well, blocking Count Dooku's lightning stun attack, Yoda will be able to project lightning back to enemies. Fix an issue where lightsaber users will not take damage from the enemies. First, lightsaber attacks while regenerating health. Fix an animation issue where heroes would occasionally get stuck in map geometry when performing the dash movement over the edge. Thank goodness. That happened to me so many times, getting stuck. <laughs> Fix an issue where the stamina bar would occasionally be wrongly displayed due to server latency. The stamina bar no longer shows up or gets drained when the player has not managed to block in time. Lightsaber heroes can now damage enemy turrets. Fix an issue that would allow players to spawn with both heroes and vehicles in the map. Fix an issue where heroes would still deflect blaster shots during their death animation if they were defeated while deflecting. Now moving on to the hero changes. Kylo has gotten a pretty good buff here as I can see. Um, a lot of fixes to his abilities. Increased Kylo base lightsaber damage from 100 to 125. Increased Kylo base lightsaber da extra damage when attacking from behind from 20 to 40. Increased Kylo be base frenzy damage on heroes from 80 to 125. Increased Kylo base frenzy damage on troopers from 80 to 150. Now that sounds awesome. In my opinion, I think he was a little bit weak. Well, he wasn't that bad, but I mean... He's got an immense buff here. It's really cool to see. Decrease plus plus extra damage on Frenzy from 10, 20, 30, 40 to 5, 10, 15, 20. Fix an issue where reactivation of the Frenzy ability would be blocked for a short time if it was activated with no target. The ability successfully remains on the same target until they are defeated. It swaps to a new target upon original target defeat. That is definitely way better. I hated it so much that his frenzy kept on moving to each and every other enemy back and forth. So finally they moved it back to the to the old one. Fix an issue where Kylo Ren's first hit with frenzy would not stagger targets, making it look like the attack has missed. Fix an issue where the frenzy ability could be activated mid-air. Fix an invisible issue where the duration of Kylo Ren's frenzy ability would not be synchronized with the grayed out screen effect from the effect user. Moving on to Ray, fix an issue where targets affected by Ray's mind trick ability would be able to sprint backwards. Obi-Wan Kenobi, Obi-Wan Kenobi will receive 80% less damage while holding out to perform all out push ability. Fix an issue where Obi-Wan all-out push ability would be occasionally re-triggered by the player. Fix an issue where lightsaber audio would play while the lightsaber is turned off during strongest defensive mode. Updated a VO for Obi-Wan in German with the original German voice actor Philip Mogg, General Grievous. Fix an issue where General Grievous would get pulled further than nor normal when affected by force abilities. Fix an issue where the stamina bar for lightsaber heroes would not deplete when blocking General Grievous, unrelating advance ability. Added eye animation to General Grievous when viewing him on the appearance screen. On Solo, fix an issue where the defeat card icon would not display correctly if a player was defeated by Han Solo's shoulder charge ability. Count Dooku. Improve the way Count Dooku's attacks connect with the enemy to allow a more smooth movement in close range combat. Made visual improvements to the exposed weakness reticle so that is more visible related to the ability icon. Improve Vyrie's visual clipping issues, visual in Count Dooku's victory poses. Fix an issue where Count Dooku's cape would float occasionally. 
while standing over Han Solo's detonate charge or Lando's disabler. Fix an issue where Count Dooku's VO would overlap with Obi-Wan's VO. Fix several issues where several audio lines by Count Dooku would not trigger in multiplayer. Now moving on to Darth Vader. Made improvements towards issues with camera shaking when a player was being choked by Darth Vader. The camera of the target player being forced to look at Darth Vader when being choked was removed. What I already see here, they still haven't fix the uh, the choke glitch where you get you know you, you use the force choke and you're stuck in the force animation that's that kind of sucks that's been a, no, a known issue since release of the game darth maul fix an issue where darth maul would be unable to cast any ability except chokehold when being pushed while using the spin attack ability so these are all the hero changes that they have been fixed Kylo Ren has gotten a really, really good buff here. I can't wait to try Kylo Ren out tomorrow when the when the Anakin Skywalker update releases. Can't wait for that. And there are more changes here with the Galactic Assault maps, Ewok Hunt, arcade modes. I will link the community transmission down in the description below if you would want to read it as well. That being said, guys, if you enjoyed the video, Make sure to slap that like button. That would be much appreciated. It also helps the channel. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And I'll see you all in the next video.